Hi, this is Brad Linder with Little Computing and the GPD Pocket 3, which as you can see is a very small laptop style computer here with an eight inch display, a QWERTY keyboard and a convertible tablet design, sort of an old school convertible that allows you to flip the screen 180 degrees, fold it back here. And part of the reason for that design as opposed to a sort of 360 that lets you flip the screen all the way around is that it gives you access to these rear sections for the ports. So in addition to ports on the sides, you've got this rear section and that's really one of the most interesting things about this device is this USB port over here. So you've got uh, HDMI, USB-C, or Thunderbolt, depending on the configuration, a couple of full-size USBs and a headset jack, plus this Ethernet port. But this one is replaceable. And you notice these two little screws holding it in place. Out of the box, uh, if you purchase this for $650 and up during crowdfunding, what you're going to get is just a model with a USB port. But you can pay an extra $80 for optional modular accessories. And one is a serial port, so you can sort of pop this out and replace it with a serial port. The other is a KVM adapter. And you put this in and you get an HDMI and USB input, allowing you to use this to remote control other devices. And I'll show you how that works. So first of all, I'm just gonna show you how easy it is with a sort of two millimeter or so screwdriver to pop this out. You take those screws out and you can see it almost just snaps, comes right out. So it doesn't, it's basically the screws that are holding it firmly in place. When I slide in the replacement, it's not going to be quite right until I screw it in. So let's go ahead and do that. But then once I do that, it should be automatically detected when I reboot the computer. So let's go ahead and Turn it on. There we go. And in order to demonstrate this, I'm gonna bring up another laptop. So the idea here is, uh, while you can use this as a general purpose computer, I think the KVM or serial are really aimed at IT professionals who might want to plug into a you know, industrial or enterprise or IT sort of gear. So let's go ahead and log in here. Out of the box, um, you know, these two are separate devices, but I've got a USB port or a USB type C connector, the one that actually came with the, uh, the charger plugged in here. And as soon as I plug that in, you'll notice I can use the touchpad here, not to control what's happening on this screen, but to control what's happening on the screen behind me. So I can type, I can use the mouse. Basically now what I've got here is a remote control for the computer behind me. Likewise, I've got an HDMI cable running from the output on the computer behind me, or behind the, uh, the pocket, to the input here. And this isn't instantaneous. Instead what happens is it's detected as a virtual camera input. And so I'm gonna, actually, you know what? going to bring up the camera using the touch screen because this touch is not really done that way. And here you'll notice that out of the box, what you're seeing is my face talking into the computer from the camera right here. But if I switch cameras, now what we have is a representation of the screen behind me. And so again, if I go in here, I can navigate, I can scroll, and everything that happens on one screen happens on the other. Uh, if I wanted to, I could even watch video. Now, since I'm just using the default camera app on Windows here, uh, there is no sound that's actually being transferred from one to the other because it just doesn't pick that up. But you could probably use other software that would allow you to hear the audio from behind me uh, locally as well. But if I wanted to hear the sound, all I have to do is go to the other system and instead of saying HDMI capture card, just play it on is the those speakers. Pocket 3, a small form factor computer with a eight inch Full HD display. Not even seeing much lag there. So that's basically how this works. Now, again, being able to remote control one computer with another isn't really super helpful, unless we're talking about, say, you want to help diagnose a computer that has a broken display. I can plug out from here into here, and now if I can't see what's happening on the dis display behind me, um, I can see a representation of what should be showing up right here. 
Likewise, if I wanted to go to a server or any other sort of headless computer, I could use that KVM switch to uh, plug in. Now, HDMI input is uh, an interesting option because most servers are going to have VGA output as opposed to uh, HDMI, so you might need an adapter cable to get that to work. But overall, you can see how this was designed, uh, particularly these modular accessories were designed with the idea that you might want to use it for uh, IT work. Uh, if I go ahead and pull those out, again, it's just back to being a regular computer. So if you didn't want to pay that $80 premium for the extra accessories because you just wanted to use the built-in, you know, the USB, uh, and that's all you really need, you don't have any use for serial or KVM, then there you go. Uh, it's still a fully functional computer capable of running Windows, Linux, other operating systems, and so forth. I'll be testing Linux later, but because of the way that this KVM uh, switch works, it should work with Windows or Linux. It shouldn't really matter which operating system you're using. Um, the biggest thing that I noticed there was, again, the touch input wasn't detected, so it was only detecting keyboard and touchpad input, which is actually kind of handy because it gives me a way to interact with uh, this computer without unplugging that cable. So that is a quick look at the modular port functionality of the GPD Pocket 3. Uh, you can find more details about this little laptop and uh, its functionality, its pricing, uh, specifications, and so forth at lilliputing.com. There is a link in the description of this video. And uh, you can also uh, check out the Indiegogo campaign where it is crowdfunding uh, for 650 and up for a model uh, with a Pentium N6000 processor. Uh, it's also available with a Core i7-1195 G7 processor for $999 and up during crowdfunding. That's the version that GPD sent me for testing purposes. Um, it's a really interesting little device, and it's supposed to begin uh, shipping in January. I have not yet had a time to do a full review, so I can't really talk too much about performance, battery life, things like that in this video. Uh, or reliability or customer service, which are some things that sometimes uh, can be issues when ordering from a company like GPD, which is basically a, a small Chinese company that ships its products internationally. Um, but in terms of what they have here, it is a fairly unusual device with some unusual functionality, which makes it really pretty interesting, uh, including that KVM capabilities.